across the top it will tell you the general mode settings that you have for your calculator uh, the only one that really you'd question here is this one here MP and that stands for maths print and they come up in here as well we're gonna look at a few of these and the first one we're gonna look at is normal scientific and engineering mode and the difference between them we can see here on the TI 84 plus CE guidebook the difference between normal scientific an engineering mode and when we set those on our calculators uh, I think engineering is quite interesting that it will give it to us as times 10 to the power of a multiple of 3 um, notice that the calculator uses E but we would write down times 10 in our answers on our in any calculations because that's the correct mathematical speak and I'll show you that on the calculator now so the E or times 10 to the power of is above the comma not to get confused with the exponential button here and equally over here which is e to the power of 1 so if we had 3 can you guess what that is yep you're right it's 3 with 7 zeros or 70, 30, 30 million we also therefore in those modes can come down to float and float will give us so many different decimal places so if I go to say 5 not only now do I see that happening up here on my header of the calculator screen but if I typed in pi, then it would give me pi to five decimal places. It will float the number of decimal places that you want, which you may find quite useful. And it doesn't matter even if I times it by, say, a negative number, it will still hold it to five decimal places. Other things in mode that you may want to look at is math print versus classic. Really, you would keep everything in math print mode. That allows you to type in fractions using the fraction button here. We can see that above um, the X button. Uh, even if you don't have that icon, it'll still work for you. And we can get it as a fraction. Whereas if we change that mode to classic, then we will lose that functionality of this nice fraction opportunities. So really, most of the time, you're going to keep it in mass print. I'm just going to turn the float back as well. And the last thing, um, which is pretty self-explanatory, is the fractions. Whether you want them as top-heavy fractions or mixed fractions, um, whether that mode is important to you uh, sort of doesn't really matter too much because we can still put top heavy fractions in like this here which will leave it as a top heavy fraction unless we change that mode setting here and then we can always convert it in F1 convert it to a mixed fraction anyway so that's probably not so important to worry about for now notice that if we also take that fraction times it by a decimal it'll hold a decimal form unless again we want to convert it to a fraction and then put it into fraction form so if we work in fraction form then it will keep it in fraction form but if we work with a blend of fractions and decimals then it will leave it in decimal form you have seen a few times that I've gone up and copied values I can either copy the answer that I get given or I can copy a calculation let's for example say this here that's going to do the answer here times 0.2 it's important to realize that when we go up and copy something let's take pi for example um, and this is true also for when we use um, angles especially in radians when we go up to copy if we go up and copy this it actually cuts the number off here and can cause rounding error so therefore it's much better not to copy the answer but actually to copy the um, question that you use which would be this one here or to use the answer button both of those will avoid any rounding error occurring. And finally, you can use the insert and delete key rather than always the clear key. Let me give an example of what I mean by that. Uh, let's say we had this calculation happening. Then I can actually go up and I can copy that line. I can go into it and on top of it change something. Let's change that to a plus. I can go on top and say get rid of that 9 by pressing delete and I can go over and let's say I wanted to add a number between the 1 and the 5 and go second ints for insert and I can add some numbers into there if I wanted to. So just those are really nice little features how you can write at the top of the position you're in where you can delete um, any values that you want or any numbers, the digits that you'd like um, and you can also insert using this function here. So hopefully you found that useful and thanks for watching. Thank you.